Hi and welcome, I'm Rev. Allie Bierman, and I'm so glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Well, what is a metaphysical ministry? Well, it's all about the metaphysics, the picture that's more than, that's bigger than, what you're able to detect and experience using only your five senses. See, what you're able to see, taste, feel, touch, smell, makes up a minuscule, maybe at most 1% of the reality that exists. Quantum physics is the science of the philosophy of metaphysics and shows us real scientific verifiable experiments of the truth of how we create our reality and how we change what we see and experience just by where we focus our attention. So this has nothing to do with any religion whatsoever. It's not non-denominational. It's no religion, period. And it's all about spirituality. We begin every week with a happy share. What's a happy share? It's something that left you. Not your kid, not your parents, not your spouse, not your best friend. Something that left you feeling happy, calm, relaxed, peaceful. In other words, it's something to share that made you happy. So I have a cool happy share. I've been living in this house in a new neighborhood for a few months in the neighborhood. It's very confusing. When I get in the car and try to find my way around, I tend to get lost. So, <laughs> so I've started taking walks in the neighborhood to find where I am because I knew that there was a park someplace here. I'd ridden by it when other people were driving, right? Well, today, I went to the park. I found it, and I took a slightly circuitous route, but you know what? I took a very direct route coming back. I'm pretty sure I know how to find it when I want to go there tomorrow. Interesting park. has two baseball fields, a great playground for little ones to climb and play on. Then it has a partial Frisbee golf course, maybe it was about four holes, that ran through the baseball field. So I'm figuring out, I guess you don't play frisbee golf while they're playing baseball because two of the baskets were in the outfield. So I'm also thinking, must be little tiny people who are playing baseball there because <laughs> I assume they can't hit the ball far enough to get to where the baskets are so nobody will be running into them trying to catch a ball. Interesting, huh? What's your happy share this week? Scroll down, let us know. Let me tell you why you want to share it. Because your, con your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what you're imagining. So when you share your happy share right down there, you get to relive all those fantastic feelings, all those feel-good peptides, the camels gurry running through your body, leaving you happy all over again. And when you share something, it magnifies, it at least doubles, it increases the happiness for you. And someone else coming by and seeing your happy share just might think, wow, I remember a time when that happened to me. And you might change somebody's mood. You might really make their day because you shared your happy share right down there. Also, to create the habit of happiness, Look for happy shares every day. Because when the universe sees you doing that, guess what? It's going to bring you more things to be happy about every single day. So if you go on over to the happysharemovement.com, happysharemovement.com, you can write a happy share every single day. Do that for 28 days and create the habit of happiness. This week is a time for meditation. So what we want to do is begin our meditation by telling our subconscious mind and the universe that that's what we're about to do now. So we're going to start with special sacred deep breaths. Get comfortable. You can have your eyes open or closed. You can be sitting. You can be lying down. Do what leaves you feeling comfortable. Don't want any distractions. You ready? All right. Oh, and then I'm going to be reading from this book, Alphabet Treats, A to Z Nuggets of Nourishment for Spiritual Consumption. 
and that is by, I'll put the link down below, that's by Edward J. Lemberger. Frequently do readings from here. So I'll go right into that after we do our preparation. Ready for that signal? Okay. Breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your mouth and out through your nose. In through your nose. Out through your nose. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. In through your mouth. Out through your mouth. In through your mouth. Out through your nose. In through your nose. Out through your nose. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Breathe in through your mouth. Out through your mouth. In through your mouth. Out through your nose. In through your nose. Out through your nose. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Supply. The universe is infinite supply. I am one with infinite supply. I possess the consciousness of receptivity of supply. Spirit flows to me and through me in divine order. Love flows to me and through me in divine order. Harmony flows to me and through me in divine order. Strength flows to me and through me in divine order. Every day and in every way I increase my capacity to receive all of the abundance the universe has intended for me. I feel it now. I live it now. Thank you, universe, for supply. You see, there is a thinking substance of which all things are made that permeates the inner spaces of everything that exists. And everything that exists is composed of the same thing. And those words come from Wallace D. Waddle's book, The Science of Getting Rich. And what he teaches us is that because there is this one energy, the all is one the all that is, source, God, universe, whatever word you use. More of anything can always be created, always, by that universe. So supply is infinite. I highly recommend reading the book, The Science of Getting Rich. It's a great piece to study. Read it over and over and over again, because each time you read it, You'll see something that you didn't see before. Why? Because you're a different person each time you read it. So there'll be something new in you that wasn't there before that allowed you to see what you didn't see before. And maybe you saw it and it registered up here. It doesn't matter until it gets down in your heart and you live it. If you don't have a copy of The Science of Getting Rich, you fill in a comment down there. I won't publish it. But just request your copy and I'll send you one in an ebook format. I highly recommend getting hold of a hold in your hand book because this is the kind of thing you probably want to write in, take notes about. It's The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. It will make a difference for you. And it just may super much change your life. If you're on the Metaphysical Ministry International.com website and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. Holding a Space For means to visualize, to see someone living a request that they make on the Hold the Space For page. 
It could be for finding a new home, or maybe somebody wants a different bike. Maybe they're looking for a new partner, or a different job, or maybe they just created their own business, and they're looking for clients to fill their business. What is it that you want that's missing from your life right now that you would like to have part of your life? You go on down there and put in your name and what it is. Not only will people see it down in the comment section, but I will also put it up there on the Hold the Space For page. And you will, I hope, I hope, come back here at least once a week. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell people you know to come back here too. And when you do, you go up to that Hold the Space For page. You read each name and what it is they asked us to hold the space for. Four. Because when you put it out by yourself, you're putting out a thought form for the universe to read. And that's great, and it will work. But what if your thought form was a whole lot bigger? Because lots of people are holding that same vision for you. It just might work sooner. So I'm really glad, once again, that you came by here today. I appreciate your going down there and clicking the like button. And if you haven't already done so, go on over there and get your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, the supply truly is infinite. You really can have whatever you want. You just need to do, as Wallace Waddle says in The Science of Getting Rich, you need to do things in a certain way. It's not doing certain things. It's doing things in a certain way. Enjoy a wonderful week. Look for your happy shares every day. You'll find them, lots of them. Blessings.